When you all hear recycling, you probably think, oh, it's not a big deal. And we all walk by the green bins in our classrooms and say, my one piece of paper isn't going to make a difference. But through this presentation, I hope to show you that you can make an impact by recycling. To start out, I will go over how much waste we produce <clears throat> and give an insight of those who think recycling is just a waste of time. Then move on to the effects pollution has on us humans and animals. And then to conclude, I'll introduce some new ways we can all recycle. So let's dig in. What is recycling? Most people toss a few things in the blue bin at home and that's enough recycling for the week. But there's more we can do to prevent pollution and to save the planet we live on. <clears throat> on average, we produce 4.3 pounds of waste per day. That's 1,500 pounds of waste a year for one person and 220 million tons a year for America as a whole. Here's some more not so fun facts about pollution. Each, according to Conserve Energy for the Future, a leaky faucet drips, every second a leaky faucet drips, weighs 540 gallons of water a year. Each person in America uses seven trees each year through wood, paper, and other products. Americans will use two and a half million plastic bottles every 30 minutes. And there are some people that still think recycling isn't worth it. They think that the cost of maintaining a recycling facility is too much for the city and that the reward of recycling isn't worth all the time and costs put into it. And according to the Scientific American, there are emissions produced while reusing the materials. So while some people think recycling isn't beneficial, don't realize that their trash is going to outweigh them and where all their trash ends up. Trash sits in landfills until it decomposes. Each product and material takes a different amount of time to decompose. For example, a styrofoam cup takes 50 years to decompose, whereas a plastic bottle takes 450 years and just an aluminum can can take 200 years. But when it comes to the health of our body and the environment surrounding us, any cost should be worth it. But if we don't recycle, the amount of pollution will continue to increase and it causes three major types of pollution. The first is air, which for us humans can cause us to have difficulty breathing and if there's chemicals in the air, it could even lead to cancer. And for animals, it, they receive ultraviolet radiation because the pollution thins the ozone layer and the rays get to the animals and could even lead to skin cancer. The next pollution is water, which for humans, it just produces rashes or it could lead to kidney or liver damage. And for animals, it damages the reproductive process and leads to an increase in disease. The last is soil pollution, which in young children, if they play in contaminated soil, it could get in their system and harm the developmental process. But for animals, it has a larger impact because plants grow in the soil. So if other animals can't get plants or non-contaminated food, then it harms everything else. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what kind of things should I recycle? The University at Buffalo says there are four main categories. The first is paper, which includes newspapers and cardboard products. The next is glass, which is beverage bottles and jars. The third is plastic, which is grocery bags, shampoo bottles and milk jugs. And the final is metal, which can be any aluminum products such as soda or food cans. Now that we know what we're able to recycle, how do we go about doing it? We've all been taught at a young age, reduce, reuse, recycle. We just went over what we can recycle, so let's go over reducing and reusing. To reduce, we can buy things made from other recycled materials, that way it's easier to decompose. And we can also reuse things such as giving our old items away to charities instead of throwing them away. And we can use stoneware, plates and cups, instead of paper plates and cups, because even though they are paper, you can't recycle them because they have food on it. So to review, 
I went over the amount of waste we produce and why some people don't think it's beneficial, but it's been proven that if we don't recycle, it causes harm on people and animals because of three major pollutions. And I also went over how we can recycle and the different things recycle. <coughs> so if you, the effects of pollution are underestimated. In years from now, your family will still be here, but how will their way of life be? Will they be sitting in the house all day because the air is too polluted to breathe? Or will they have to pay $20 for a case of water because the fresh water in the world gets more and more contaminated each year? All these questions can be answered and solved if we do one simple thing, recycle. After all this, I hope you think twice as you walk by the recycling bins in your classroom and at your house. <laughs>